In this video, I'm going to show you how to fast travel and get around the map of Dragon's Dogma 2 as best as possible. Now, I'm sure you've seen how long it takes to traverse and walk around this entire map. Depending on where you are on the map, sometimes you might have a very long distance to travel. Now, you have two main ways of doing it quickly besides walking. The best and arguably the most expensive is by unlocking the port crystals. These ones over here, like you see in front of me. This is a port crystal that you can find in several locations. This one is in Harv Village, but you'll also find there is one in uh, Vernworth as well. If I go ahead and into Vernworth, you can see there's a port crystal for Vernworth over here too. Now, the way you use these crystals is you require a specific item called a fairy stone. Now, there are multiple ways to get fairy stones. There are like places where you can beat enemies and you can get them, which I'll talk about in a future video. Alternatively, you can go to general stores in many locations and you'll see if you go ahead and I speak with this guy in his general store, ask him if I can buy, he will have a fairy stone available to sell for 10,000 gold. So it's a little expensive. So you got to de decide on like, you know, do you want to spend that or would you rather walk for like 20 minutes? These general stores are normally marked by a potion. And if you go ahead and you open up the map, they'll actually look like this. This is the icon. It says, you know, it basically just looks like a potion and they sell a fairy stone, at least one per merchant. Now, the way you use a fairy stone is if you go ahead and you open up your inventory and you go into items and you just go to the fairy stone in your inventory and you just go ahead and you use it. It will give you the option of teleporting to either of any of the port crystals that you have across the entire map. Now, this is a relatively short distance, so I'm not actually going to teleport just, you know, to Vernworth when I'm right here. That's like a really short walk. The other way of traveling quickly across the map is by using the ox carts. Now the ox carts can be found at most like bigger towns. You can, you can see there's two in Vernworth, one over here at the west side, and there's also one at the north side right here. And these will head to very specific locations. This one over here is actually going to head to a town all the way to the far left of the map called Checkpoint Rest Town. This is a massive distance to have to cover on foot. Whereas the north one will actually head to the town of Melv, which is also a really long way to, to get back there. What's great about these is that you can actually skip the time. So if you go to this like await ox cart, if the ox cart's not here or if it's not ready for you, you can do this and it will skip time until the ox cart is ready. And you'll see it's now in the morning just before it's ready to go. We can go ahead and speak with him. And you'll see here the price for this is way cheaper than 10,000 gold. So I would highly recommend saving your fairy stones and rather using the ox carts when you can. And then you just get on the ox cart and you sit on the red rag like you normally do. And then here you can press the Y option to doze off. And this will allow you to skip time and either the ox cart's going to get attacked or it will make its way the entire way. If it does get attacked, all you got to do is kill the enemies nearby and you can get back in the ox cart and you can doze off again and, you know, keep fast traveling the entire way. Or if you want to walk by foot, you can too. And those are the major ways that you fast travel in Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.